And this is a suburban home at Kalani Heights in Sydney. The garden reflects the success of its owner, Mr. Alex J. MacArthur. The beautiful setting won a first prize in Sydney's biggest garden competition. It's Mr. MacArthur's haven from the pressure of business problems. But the expanding business leaves him little time to enjoy his hobby. Mr. MacArthur is managing director of Tees Sales Proprietary Limited, Australian distributors of Toyota commercial vehicles. In Tees Sales Association with Toyota of Japan, we have had, in the course of the last 10 years, a meteoric rise. The rise has been very successful and has been largely due to the skill and management and also, of course, to the product, which we are very, very proud of. The product came in some 10 years ago with the Toyota Land Cruiser, which has now developed a very, very high reputation in this country. The Toyota Land Cruiser has been sold to a good number of the mining ventures not to mention some of the pastoral interests and the various other associates that are now spending huge sums of money in Australia. In the course of mining, farming, wool, many of our exports go to Japan. These exports are indeed a real measure of reciprocity. And we at TIS in the import of Toyota are playing our part in this reciprocal trade. In the course of our history and our rise, we have had many, many problems. The problems have been significant when you take into account the vast distances in Australia, the problems we have with dust, snow, general weather conditions. Our costs have been very, very high in this area of selling. To illustrate some of these distances and the problems that we have encountered in Tees, I take pleasure in presenting to you Toyota in Australia. Australia is a vast and empty continent. Its entire population is only equal to that of Tokyo, yet it sprawls over an area 16 times the size of Japan. Even the Northern Territory, with the smallest population, is more than three times the size of Japan. Australia's enormous distances mean costly problems for the people who sell and service Toyota commercial vehicles. The problems are worst where the vehicles are used under the toughest imaginable conditions. heat of Australia's tropical north, the hunters are using Toyotas to catch wild buffalo for the beef trade. The work is hard on men and machinery. The boss, Laurie Howard, and his team of three hunters catch as many as 50 buffalo a day. Until recently, the animals were shot for pet food. Now they are captured and tamed with the idea of breeding big commercial herds. The Asian water buffalo was imported by the territory's first settlers less than 150 years ago. When the first settlements were abandoned, the buffalo were turned loose. They bred quickly and now run wild over 100,000 square miles of the territory. Buffalo calves are never separated from their mothers. If the calf escapes, the mother is allowed to go free. With the end of indiscriminate hunting and shooting, more and more tourists have been visiting the territory to see wild animals and birds in their natural surroundings. The sanctuaries are in remote areas and reliable vehicles are needed to ensure the safety of their passengers. The tourist operator's first Toyota station wagon needed only a new spark plug in 60,000 miles to travel over hot, rough, trackless country. 
For the first time, tourists may travel in air-conditioned comfort to see some of Australia's unique wildlife. Toyota is making an important contribution to Australia's thriving tourist industry by making it possible to carry passengers into previously inaccessible areas. In stark contrast to the tropical north, Alice Springs, the territory's main tourist centre, is set in arid, semi-desert country. From here, tourist buses travel nearly 300 miles to Ayers Rock. Many tourists come to marvel at the massive rock and its changing colours. The job of distributing Toyota vehicles over this vast, colourful area is handled 1,000 miles north of Alice Springs, in Darwin, capital city of the Northern Territory. The problem of distance facing Teese sales is illustrated by the fact that it's as far from London to Moscow as it is from Darwin to the Ireland state of Tasmania. Tasmania, Australia's smallest state, should be the simplest to service with Toyota vehicles. But the island is separated from the mainland by 160 miles of ocean. Toyotas must be delivered by shipping lines that are subject to strikes and increasing freight charges. Tasmania has the advantage of cheap hydroelectric power for its expanding industries. Many of its development projects are in mountainous regions, ideal for Toyota four-wheel drive vehicles. By contrast with Tasmania, the biggest state is Western Australia, scene of Australia's dramatic mining boom. Perth is the flourishing capital of the state which covers nearly one-third of Australia's land mass, yet has less than 10% of the nation's population. Prestige Motors handle the distribution of Toyota vehicles throughout the vast area. Among Prestige Motors customers is McRobertson Miller Airlines, which operates a fleet of Toyota buses in the northern centres like Port Hedland. From here, it's an hour's flight to Mount Newman, one of the world's biggest single deposits of high-grade iron ore. The Mount Newman project is said to contain enough high-grade iron ore to supply the entire world. Reserves of 1,000 million tonnes have been proved, and the exploratory drilling still has not been completed. Toyotas have worked on the project since its earliest days. quantities of iron ore are already being shipped out to Japanese and Australian mills. Mount Newman holds a contract to supply Japan with 100 million tonnes over 15 years. To ship the iron ore, a railway line 260 miles long was built to span the wilderness from Mount Newman to Port Hedland. Port Hedland is a hot and lonely part of Australia. It's as far from Tokyo to Manila as it is from Port Hedland to Melbourne, capital city of Victoria, one of Australia's most prosperous states.